Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com and this video we're going to have a quick look at Windows 10 running on Lumia 630. This is the Windows 10 technical preview. The Lumia 630 is one of the few devices that actually will currently run um, Windows 10 or supported by Microsoft anyway. You can get the Windows Insider app and install it on your 630 and then it will upgrade it. So this is um, a quick look at it. So what have we got on here? Well the first thing that you do notice is a new notification center. Um, you see there that you've got the four buttons as before, but now you can expand them. You've got like rotation lock and airplay mode, and you can customize this just as you can on Windows 10. If we go into the settings, and I'll go back, you'll see the new settings screen. So again, this is um, all new, much more, more like aligned with the Windows uh, 10 for PCs and tablets. So on here, you've got a much better organized sense of where the settings are. So under the, on, when you get down to the individual settings, some of them are pretty much the same. But as you can see, it's a much better organized view of them now, rather than sort of the random list that they were in before. So I mentioned the action center there. We can look, so we can customize that and we can change that around and, and how it looks. So let's have a look at that. So you see there you've got the four. So I could change, swap that Bluetooth out for um, internet sharing. Then pull down from the top and see internet sharing is there now when I expand it I get the, the full list as, as before. Now let's just look here, this is the new um, option for backgrounds so I can choose a background picture this is actually going to choose from the new uh, photo app as well, this is the app picker so I'll choose one from my OneDrive and we'll have that as the background. So I've got my background image on there and um, you can see it's transparent on the tiles are semi-transparent but it, the image is there pretty much as you would expect it from using other phones for, for like Android not how Windows Phone used to have it where the, the tiles were see-through and the background was uh, was plain. Oh, what I've, I've, I've found, and I've not seen this, uh, whether this is just for the 630, I don't think so, is a file explorer app which is um, very much like the new style of Microsoft app for Windows uh, Phone and for, uh, Windows 10 in general so that looks like a new app on there and that didn't show up in the App Store when I tried to find it on my 1520 so I think that is a new app. So the Photos app is is brand new and um, so this is that style of that, of that browser app that we were looking at before as well. There's not a lot of content stored on this phone, in fact there's, there's not at all, all this is cloud based stuff and uh, so I can pick a photo and I can share it and edit it and delete it and all the things you'd expect to do. All this is coming straight from OneDrive um, but you notice you've got these settings here so you can choose by collection, albums, folders so albums coming soon and so these are all OneDrive so um, folders will probably show you where you can pick them from yeah, it's coming soon now, this is a preview of the, of the app and uh, a big change from the old photos app very much in the, sort of the current Windows 10 style also improved on the text to speech and the keyboard I won't really show the text to speech but I will show the keyboard let's, uh, let's create a new email Okay, here's the keyboard, and you'll see a little dot there. So let me just put some text in there. I'm still using Wordflow. And see the dot there? We can use that dot, and that gives us arrow keys, which we can then use our thumb to move across and backwards and forwards something that was a bit tricky for you, you ended up sort of poking between the letters so I guess you could you could kind of go where you want to go roughly and then use this to to get more precise so you can go up and down and left and right on that which is a nice feature and like I said this text-to-speech has been improved so let's try that the text-to-speech has been improved So anywhere where you've got keyboard entry, you can now use the listen button and uh, 
and, and that enters the text straight in. So you can use it to dictate a text message or an email or whatever you want to do and then go back and correct any mistakes. Something else that's new you might see here, this is the all app list and um, if you've seen Windows 10, you'll see the arrow on the, um, on the tablet version sort of to, to drop down to more apps on the all apps list. So that takes you to the all apps list and there it shows you recently installed apps. So these are apps I've uh, recently installed and uh, they're an easy way of getting them to, so you can uh, pin it from there. So once you install that you don't go and have to search for it, it's, it's, it's already there. You see the notification there? Um, as I got a tweet, so that goes across the top like that, and then you pull down, and the message is there. Now, if it was a text message, you could actually reply to it in line. Uh, this is a tweet, so it opens up the Tweetium account. Mostly, the, the um, built-in apps have stayed the same: so the podcast app, the music app, and uh, they're, they've not changed yet. I guess they'll they'll change uh, over time. So, uh, if you've got a 6.30, 6.35, uh, let me get the full list. So if you've got a 6.30, 6.35, 6.36, 6.38, 7.30 or 8.30, you can install uh, Windows Form 10 on it by uh, using this Windows Insider app and then uh, you can get the preview builds from there. Um, th this actual form was £55 from um, eBay, PC World, car farm warehouses, online store at eBay. So a very handy device for testing Windows 10 and not messing up my nice 15, 20 that, uh, that I rely on as my day-to-day -day device. So you've seen you've got the um, new media app, new um, background options, the new settings and uh, the new app. Action Center. Also, the browser actually is using the new rendering engine as well. That's going to be the Spartan rendering engine, engine that's coming to Windows 10 as well. But uh, you can't really tell much difference from that. So that was a very quick look at Windows 10 on uh, Lumia 635 or 630, I should say. And uh, if you get questions? Let me know. Ian at this lifestyle.com. At iStixon on Twitter. Thanks for watching this video.